Hello and welcome to the Dominican Republic vlog. I actually can't believe I'm here. This is so exciting. I am just looking outside because we've got like the balcony here. It's just blue skies, palm trees. It's very surreal. This place is literally like paradise. We arrived here yesterday, probably around like two o'clock, but I decided to just take the day off of vlogging because I had well i just looked awful because i'd literally been on a plane for nine hours but i'm gonna start the vlog today i'll give you a little bit of a tour around the hotel if i can today we are heading to the beach which is so beautiful it's just the most gorgeous beach just palm trees lined along it it's amazing this place truly is like paradise the hotel we're staying at because i feel like i always forget to say is the caribe deluxe princess i will link it down below and obviously i will show you a room tour and stuff later but i think i'm gonna wait for our room to um be like made up and stuff so it looks a little bit nicer but yeah i'll show you my outfit now because i actually love this outfit so much how amazing is this mirror by the way like it's absolutely huge so this is my outfit i don't know how dark it is i feel like when i've got sunglasses on it always looks darker i hope it's not too bad maybe if i hold it like that is that lighter i don't know anyway my bikini is from nina swim which is opoly's brand i think then the little base shirt is pretty lavish i've got my Miu Miu sunglasses on of course and then let me show you these because these are my little sandals from a brand called flattered but they're really nice they're chunky so they add a little bit of height but I think they are really lovely and actually very comfortable as well. So I'm hoping these won't rub if I like get sandy feet or anything. But yeah, I actually don't know how I'm going to beat this outfit. Like this was the one that I had planned and I am obsessed with it. We're just in a little golf cart driving around the resort. It's really cute. Also, all of the buildings are like different colours. It's so weird because you'll see that everything else is beige apart from the colours of the buildings. They're like so bright. But we're on our way to find some ice cream. So wish us luck. So we've been dropped off at the lobby, which is actually really lovely. If you look at all of this like nice furniture, it's very aesthetic. That's one thing I would say about this hotel. And I have a feeling that the ice cream place is like down here somewhere. I think Tommy knows the way, so I'm just gonna follow him and hope for the best. Also, he's had to wear my sliders because his have given him blisters. So he was moaning at me, oh, you bring so many shoes, but my shoes have come to the rescue. Do they feel a lot more comfy? A little bit, they're rubbing on the back of it. They're rubbing. Yeah. There's no pleasing this boy, I tell you. The ice cream parlor is closed, guys. How upsetting, but they have a coffee shop here. So we've just got ourselves a little frappuccino. This place literally has everything. So we're just perched here on this really lovely, like kind of decking seated area. Just looking out, oh, it's so nice. And then around here, I don't actually think there's much around here, but like, just look here, it is stunning. What do you think of the frap? I haven't had any yet. Really nice. Is it really good? Okay, yeah. let me let me try it. Let me let you know my thoughts. It's actually a really nice latte. It's um made with the cow's milk, like dairy milk, which I never usually have, but I'm actually quite impressed. It's delicious. So I'm sure we'll be here every single day having our little coffee. But yeah, it's good. They do so many different kinds as well. I think they do like it's basically like their own version of Starbucks. It's crazy. So yeah, we're just gonna sit here, take in the scenery. We'll probably be here for the next hour, I'm not gonna lie. The wildlife here is actually insane. So we've got flamingos over there, ducks. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's an ostrich like over there somewhere. I'm sure we'll see another one at some point. But flamingos, I don't actually think legit I've ever seen a flamingo outside of a zoo, which I think is really sad. But yeah, gorgeous. I think it's just the two. I'll let you know if I see any more, but that's so cool. Okay, I definitely did just say ostrich. There's no ostriches here. Peacocks, peacocks. Oh my gosh, yeah, look. Oh wait, there's two. Hang on, let me turn the camera around. Would you look at that? How incredible. Gorgeous. Wow. Yes, that's one, and I think there's one over here as well, somewhere. That's so cool. 
love that. It is the evening now. It's probably maybe like seven o'clock, I think, or like half six-ish. I wanna show you my outfit. I don't really know where to place the camera, so I'm just gonna pan it down. So this dress is from Pretty Lavish. I love the color of it so much. Like, I feel like recently I've been wearing a lot of kind of neutrals, and just like not very colorful things, but I wanted to go for pink. Also, I think my camera is clouding up. Give me one sec. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. It's very humid here, and my camera is obviously where the aircon is in the bedroom, so I think the aircon mixed with the humidity is clouding my camera up. I'm really sorry if it happens again. Anyway, dress is pretty lavish, and then my shoes, can you see my shoes? Hang on. Okay, here we go. My shoes are from ASOS, they're like really chunky, platform sandals and then I have my Jacquemus bag which I'll show you in a sec and then I paired it with this like slip silk oh, please focus don't know what happened there but my little slip silk scrunchy thing my camera keeps going so like um condensation -y. so I'm gonna just leave it out here for a sec let it warm up and then I'll show you the bag I wrote Tommy in as cameraman so I can show you the whole outfit so this is the dress Kind of like a mid axi style. Obviously the shoes that I showed you. And then this is the bag. And I just feel like this outfit works quite well. A little bit of color. I love it. I'll show you Tommy's outfit later because I feel like Tommy has actually maybe outdressed me tonight, as he always does. So I'll show you because it's a very nice outfit. We are at the bar, which is in the hotel lobby. I think I showed you earlier. Got some cocktails. So Tommy's gone for a Long Island iced tea. And then this is called a pink, is it Pink Lady? I think so, yeah. Pink Lady. I haven't tried it yet, so I'll let you know my thoughts. The, um, the, the marks on the, the marks? Is that the, the um, ring marks? Oh, it should be treated. It should have been treated. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Hopefully. But we're sat here just watching the sunset. I don't know if my camera's really going to pick it up, but there is a sunset. The lighting's just not that great right now. But it's lovely. It's so relaxing and quiet. I feel like Tommy's about to get really drunk on his Long Island iced tea. Yeah, that was the first thing he said. He was like, oh my God, that's so strong. Also, this is his outfit, by the way. I just thought it was really cute. Beige, oh, I love that. Beige vibes. And his shoes, he loves these. What are they, the what are they called? The affiliate, affiliate links. Yeah. All right, I'll link his outfit below for you guys. Good morning. It is day two, full day two. I am having a bit of a no makeup day because I don't know if you can see, but look at these spots that have come up. I don't know if it's a mix of like, I do think it was SPF, but then I, I put SPF on my face every day. So I think maybe it's just like sweat. So I'm really trying to like look after my skin. I actually put a different SPF on today as well. Let me show you it because it is the most incredible smelling, nicest feeling SPF I've ever used. So let me just grab it. This is it. It's the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Queen Screen Lightweight Sunscreen. Um, if you watch my Lanzarote vlog, you might remember that I went away with a girl called Jen and she was the one that recommended this to me. She's like skincare queen, so I was like, right, I'm picking this up, I'm buying it. Got it from Space NK. Like, it's such a nice bottle, such like a good size, and it's basically like a serum sunscreen. So I've used that today and I'm hoping by using this and then just reapplying this throughout the day because it's like skincare and SPF. I'm hoping that these will kind of go down or at least not get any worse. I thought I'd show you my outfit as well. I'll move you over here. I'm not such a big fan of this today. I'm trying to like just have a day off like content and taking pictures and just actually trying to relax. So this, oh my God, God. So this set is from Nina Swim which I think I was wearing yesterday, I was wearing Nina Swim. Um, so yeah, I actually got a pair of swim, sh wait, swim, swim pants? Bikini bottoms, what I'm trying to say, underneath. Can't speak. And then these sunglasses are on a chain. So these are from River Island. I quite like them, I've never worn them before, so I'm gonna test them out. And then my hat is ASOS from a couple years ago, but I'm pretty sure they do similar ones if not i'll find a dupe and i will link it down below i'll link all of my outfits down below so yeah i think we're gonna have a little beach day i will try and film a bit by the beach because i didn't do that i don't think yesterday so i will do that but yeah little outfit of the day a little bit of color today which i love I'm kind of bored of the beiges now i feel like i want to have a bit of colorfulness in my swimwear so yeah 
Anyway, I'll speak to you guys a little bit later. We are here at the beach. Look at the colour of our drinks, by the way. Cheers. This is the Pink Lady, and then that's the... Blue Hawaiians. Blue Hawaiian. They're actually really nice drinks. We just sat here. That's what I mean when I said it was really empty. Like, it's just so quiet. Actually, I don't know if I did say it was empty. I can't remember. I feel like I'm getting confused with what I'm saying, like, in voice notes to friends, and then on the vlog. I don't know if, does anyone else have that? Like, their speech to someone on voice note and their speech to someone else and they'll be like, wait, have I already said this? It's really strange, but um, yeah, we're literally having such a lovely day, just chilling, relaxing. I think we might head into the sea a little bit later because it's quite warm, but it's so nice. That was nuts. That was insane. That was so insane. it's the evening now. We literally just had a power cut um, and I have really frizzy hair. I literally, well, I had a shower curled it it looked really nice and fresh oh my i keep hitting this That's table twice, twice in one day oh anyway i'm trying to fix this hair and i'm going to try and film this clip fairly quickly before um the power cuts out again that was insane i think there's a storm coming but yeah sorry i didn't really film much earlier i will film some more as like the week goes on but i think where it's so hot and just I just feel sticky, I'm like, oh, can't get the camera out. But this is my outfit for tonight. I absolutely love the back of this dress. Oh my God, that back's amazing. Isn't it Tony? Wow. Gorgeous. Um, it's from Pretty Lavish, same place as yesterday. I feel like I've worn a lot of Pretty Lavish this holiday, but this is the last piece I picked up. So then I'll be wearing different brands, but I just think the back is really stunning. So of course I will link it down below. Just don't really know what to do about my hair because it's just getting so, like frizzy and humid. Might just whack some oil in it and just hope for the best. But we have a dinner at nine o'clock, so in 40 minutes at the like Asian place. So it's teppanyaki and like sushi, and I'm really excited. Are you excited? So excited. Yeah, you just take the piss. But um, yeah, it's gonna be really, really nice food. So I'm praying the power does not cut out because then I won't be able to get my teppanyaki. But yeah, anyway, I'll film it. I didn't film yesterday. So did you see that? Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. It might yeah. be the lightning. Oh no. Might be going hungry tonight, Tommy. But yeah, right. I'm going to stop filming now. I will record dinner and I will speak to you guys. Hopefully, when we're at dinner. If not, we're going to be having sandwiches. Guys, this is like a full on Benihana kind of restaurant. Like, they're going to cook it all in front of you. We've got some sushi, got some veg sushi. Tommy's got a little salad. I'll film this, I probably won't speak much because I think it's going to be quite loud with all like, the fans on, but I'm so excited for this. That food was honestly amazing. Like, I don't understand how that is part of the all-inclusive. Because I was thinking about it and I was like, it's very similar to Benihana's, like I said. And that's like six, 65 pounds a person. So, yeah, I feel like even just for that restaurant, I would recommend it. Um, the one that we went to yesterday, I feel like I did say this morning, wasn't amazing. But like, that is just something else. It was unreal so yeah would highly recommend if you do come to this hotel to book that restaurant we're gonna head to bed now it's quite late i think I need to go to sleep we want to watch love island in the morning and then head to breakfast we've been having like quite early starts in the day i haven't really been vlogging them but it's been quite nice to like wake up and get stuff done so i might film that tomorrow potentially my spots have gone down but they're literally so big right now I just don't know if i want to be on camera without makeup oh god i'm gonna like do a deep cleanse my face and hope and pray it sorts out good morning it is saturday today joining you at the little coffee shop we're just kind of sat on the outside bit the resort has gotten so busy i feel like everyone must have arrived like yesterday and this morning you know like yesterday i was like oh it's so quiet it's gotten really really busy now which is fine i mean this area is completely dead to be honest i think it's just because no one wants to sit outside it's the hottest day that we've been here it's like 32 degrees 
and I think the humidity is like 80% so it's very hot and sticky so this is like an absolute godsend also sorry if the wind is like messing up the mic i haven't got my little furry thing that goes on top of it like there's this furry thing you can put on the mic and it basically like stops it from going really like wind sounding if that makes sense so yeah apologies if the audio is bad but i'm gonna just drink this and try and cool down with it i might have to have like five today just to like cool myself down it's so hot but i'm not complaining I shouldn't complain because I think it's raining in the UK today, so I am grateful. We're just by the little bus stop thing, golf cart bus stop thing. Hello. Hello. And we are gonna head to the ice cream place. It's literally been so, so hot today. I know I said that in the last clip, but like it is boiling to the point where I'm like, I don't even think I can get my camera out that much because it's just so hot. It's gonna blow up. Yeah, I actually think it might. And you know, the way it was like the other day and it was getting really steamy, I just thought, you know what? I think my camera's gone through enough today. So I'm gonna film the ice cream. I think that they do crepes as well. The reception said when we came in that they do crepes and that is actually what I want so bad. We had pancakes this morning and they were not that great. They were like quite, I don't even know, quite cold and quite like dry. So a fresh crepe actually it's exactly what I want. Who wants a crepe in 32 degree heat? I want a crepe in 32 degree heat. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, well I might have an ice cream on top. I might treat myself, you know. But um, it is a bit weird, isn't it, getting a crepe in this weather? But uh, I just want one. And sometimes, I swear I've read this somewhere, sometimes if you have something hot in heat, it like cools your body temperature down. That, that could be completely wrong. I'm not that's saying that's fact, but I've heard it once. Oh my God, what was that? Oh, it made me jump. Oh my God, everything here is like making me jump. Any loud noise is freaking me out. But yeah, I have I filmed the golf cart yet? I think I have, but I'll film a little bit of the journey because it's actually really relaxing. I feel like I'm in Animal Kingdom in Disney. It's a lovely journey. And there's so many like different animals as well. Like we see flamingos and like these are lizard things. It's quite cool. Okay, so the golf cart was really, really full and like people just ran for it. So. We decided we're gonna walk because to be honest, most of the walk is actually in the shade. Oh look, there's a golf cart, so there are two. Oh wait, that's a luggage one. Um, but yeah, isn't it such like a cool little, I guess, road? It's very nice, very like tropical. Tro tropical? Why did I say that so weird? This is like, I feel like this is kind of like Tulum. I think it was um, Sophia and Chinzia that went there like earlier this year and I was watching their vlog and I feel like this is quite similar to it. But I'll let you know if you find any little animals. I think there's some birds over there. I mean, I'm sure you don't really care that much. It's just meant to be a holiday vlog, but I'm just, I'm living for all the wildlife. I think it's so cute. We found a lizard. Dragon. Dragon. I think they're Komodo dragons, but they might not be. It's very camouflaged, but maybe you can see it. It just moved its head a little bit. Quite terrifying. Oh, is there no food left? You've got them excited. There is some food. Oh, we have to grab some. Oh my god, what just fell on my hand? Is that bird poo? No, I don't think so. Oh, there's the other golf cart. Just missed it. What? Oh, wow. What the hell is that? That is a weird looking bird. <gasps> Turtles! Stop it. Oh my goodness. Loads of them. They're One, two, so three, cute. four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, they've all got like nine, stuff on ten. their shells though. Well, there's 11 of them. Why has it got like fairy bits on their shell? That's so weird. It's 11. Oh, they're really cute though. They're so tiny. Little family of turtles. It's so sweet. Oh my god. Look at the size of that. That is terrifying. Can someone actually let me know if you know in the comments, if you know your lizards? What is that? I think Komodo Dragon, but I could be really wrong. Guys, I was lied to. There are no crepes here. It's just ice cream. My heart is broken. I'll probably just get a strawberry ice cream then. I don't actually think I've shown you this area before. Or maybe I have a little bit. So this is like the kind of modern building. We've just got ourselves some sex on the beaches. And we're just looking out to the sea. Just listening to it, it's actually so peaceful. So I think we're probably gonna, I mean, what's the time now? 6.09, so we'll probably do this for another hour and then we're heading. 
Yeah. We've been um, we've been looking for things to do today. I feel like we've been a little bit bored. I think tomorrow we might play some tennis. I think I said we were going to do that today, but it was just too hot. So yeah, maybe tomorrow. It's just meant keep to, ourselves. I think it's meant to rain tomorrow. The weather's not. Is it? Well. Okay, maybe we won't play tennis then. Maybe we'll have well, a Netflix it's marathon. Really good weather to play tennis either. Maybe. It hasn't like properly rained here yet, and that's like a main thing about like this time of year. It's like humid and like really thunderstormy, and I don't know if we've really had that. So I think it's coming for us tomorrow, but you know, it's fine. I feel like hopefully a thunderstorm will kind of help with the humidity situation. You yeah. Under you understand why they get them though, when it's. When it's this humid, when it's like yeah. Two degrees, and it's like, it feels like like 40 degrees because of the humidity. Mm. Yeah, it's nice up here actually because there's a bit of a breeze. So it's like a nice, yeah, almost like air con. Island, yeah, it's always a breeze, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like our little air con spot. It's nice though. So yeah, I'm literally just going to be watching the waves the whole, well, for the next hour. Maybe close my eyes, have a little nap or something. Just nice and relaxing. I'm listening to Justin Bieber, so I'm happy. Good morning joining you quite early i think it's like half seven i don't know why but tommy and i have stuck very much to the english time zones we plan to do it for the first couple of days but we seem to literally just be going to bed at like 10 a.m um, 10 p.m maybe even earlier and we're up at six so yeah it feels quite nice thought we'd go on a little beach walk today it's so like it's actually the weather's really weird so it's really sunny and lovely here and then I don't know if you can see behind me Look how grey that is. So either a storm's coming this way or there was a storm overnight or it's like gone that way but I hope it's not going to come here. Um, also, one thing I don't think I've told you about and it's kind of, it's annoying but I get it. It's like these kind of mounds of seaweed all along the beach. I think I had a like a Google of it and I think it is quite bad in the summer in Punta Cana which is where we are. It feels kind of weird when you walk on it, like it's kind of gross, but once you get past that, you've obviously got the sand, which is lovely. But yeah, it's nice to have these beach walks, because I feel like they're very relaxing. It's nice to do it in the morning when no one else is here. So we've been trying to do this every single day. I haven't really filmed it a huge amount, but I thought I'd film it today. Um, in terms of plans today, I don't think we're really gonna do that much. I know we keep saying we're gonna play tennis, so that is the plan if it doesn't start raining. God, it really does look like it's coming this way. Oh God, I'm about to put my camera away in a second because it might get rained on. So yeah, maybe we'll just make the most of the sun whilst we have it and hopefully it'll come back out later today. So it started raining and we couldn't get all the way back to our hotel over there. So there's this like abandoned one, it's kind of creepy. So we're under this abandoned, I don't even know what this is, an umbrella thing, which it's has got holes. holes in it, so we're still getting a bit wet. Tommy, don't you break Pretty it. It's sturdy, though. Is it? Oh, mm, it doesn't look that sturdy to me. So, yeah, could be caught in a thunderstorm. We'll see. I don't even know if there'll be any more vlog clips because my camera might get soaking wet and break. So we will see. It's been half an hour. Half an hour. And um, <laughs> it's actually getting worse. Oh my gosh, this is literally hilarious. Tommy stood out in the rain for about, what was it, like two seconds. Got soaked. Got soaked. So we did think about making a run for it, but I actually think we're just going to end up literally having a shower as we run. But at least we're not alone. There's a lady, she's just stood over there. So yeah, also look at this umbrella. Tommy was like, oh, should we stand under that one? It's half an umbrella. To be fair, it looks pretty secure, doesn't it? The side that is <laughs> nice and secure, yeah. The side that is there. The weather has kind of cheered up a little bit. It's still quite grey, but I thought I would show you my swimming costume of choice. This is the one that I picked up in Paris. I think I said in the video that I would wear it on holiday at some point, and now is the time. So this is it. It kind of looks boring from the front, but I'm going to get Tommy to film the back because. Just, I'll do a 360 because this swimming costume is probably the nicest one I've ever bought. It's just so comfortable. So let me, actually, you know what? I'm going to put the camera up here. Hang on. Hopefully you can see. But this is the swimming costume. So you basically like tie it here and tie it here. It's from a brand called Nu, N-O-O. -O, and I just love it. So I thought I would show you because I did promise that I'll show you at some point And now is the time. Oh my gosh, my face looks so pale again. I don't know why this is happening. 
just I need to really get a hold of my fake tanning routine here because I'm getting patchy now but I think Tommy and I are going to play some mini golf now so I will bring you along for that game currently I've won one game Tommy has won two one two. We're, we're drawing right now anyway I intend to win this game so I will bring you along I mean I think I have that like beginner's luck thing or well, not beginner's luck but like I can play really well the first time and then every other time I play I'm really crap so I'm hoping that my winning streak will be back today. How cute is this little mini golf thing? It's quite nice because sometimes you don't really want to be lying by the beach or by the pool the whole day. So it's nice to break it up. We actually, we started on hole seven because there was people on this one. So yeah, we're not doing too bad. I think Tommy's winning by one point. So I'm sure it? I can is beat him. Oh no, oh, have I beat? No, I did beat you on one, didn't I? It's four, four. Oh, okay, right, Tommy's one up, so one up. I need to step it up, guys. But let's see. Let's see you do this shot, hun. Oh, not bad. Bogies. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, close, but not close enough. Shot 763. Got it in now. Okay, so Tommy won. Um, I think he might have, he must have cheated somehow. Don't really know how he won. I literally did not win one of the holes. This is so embarrassing. I need to get some lessons when I get back. I think Tommy wants to do another hole just to show again that he can beat me. Hmm. We are down by the beach. It's about six o'clock. This is my little outfit i've decided to get ready early because apparently there's another like a hundred percent chance of a thunderstorm at seven o'clock so i was like i'm gonna get ready early i'm gonna get these photos so i really hope they look okay i mean you would have seen them on my instagram probably by the time this vlog goes live but fingers crossed it looks all right the one thing about this place is that my hair was so curly and now it's just like just like waves it gets so like frizzy i think i just need to start straightening my hair but yeah tommy being the top Instagram boyfriend, oh. top Instagram boyfriend. He usually hates doing this. I think he does hate it still, but he's willing to persist for me. So I appreciate it. We are off to the Dominican restaurant tonight, which is typical Dominican food. I'm not gonna lie to you though, guys. Like I actually don't feel well. I don't know if I've got like heat stroke or sometimes when I'm overtired, I feel really unwell. So I don't, I don't really know what's, yeah, I don't really know what's happened. I feel like today has not really been my day, so I'm hoping tomorrow's gonna be a bit better, but I'll film a little bit of the food, and then I think I'm literally just gonna get such an early night and just try and sleep it off. But yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've literally just been sat on the balcony, like dead to the world, literally like a zombie. I, I honestly don't know. I think it's tiredness. My mum always said ever since I was a baby, I would literally feel so unwell if I haven't had enough sleep. But then, I feel like I did have a lot of sleep. Like I had such, I went to bed at like 10 yesterday, like I was saying earlier, and woke up, I guess woke up at like, what, five, six a.m. But I don't know, it's really weird. Um, you know what I also wish, all, also, also wish I'd bought are some looser trousers um, on bottoms because everything I have is really tight and all I want right now is like a pair of joggers. That would just be the best thing, or maybe not joggers, but like something nice and flowy. But anyway, I feel like I'm moaning. I'm so sorry. I don't like doing this in my vlogs, but I'm keeping it real. And yeah, I'm hoping I feel a little bit better, maybe in the morning. Okay, this is literally the cutest restaurant. I feel like I suddenly feel better. Does this not look like a little village? It's so, so cute. We're in this little like house thing. I think it's meant to be designed as almost like you're in, um, yeah, or like some of the menu dishes are called like mi abuelas, mi abuelas like food, so like maybe like your grandma's house. I think abuela means grandmother in Spanish, but it's so sweet. Okay, so to start, we have got these like pasty things. So I think there's, I thought they could be empanadas, but I feel like that is the only one that kind of looks like an empanada. So I think there's like a beef one, a chicken one, a yucca, and 
can't remember what the other one was. Maybe just vegetables, but yeah, they look really cool. Like, I've never seen anything like this before, to be honest. I tell you what, the restaurants actually step up a little bit when it comes to presentation and the plate. So this is a, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a chicken dish. And then I've got mine with vegetables and Tommy's been a bit basic and got um, <laughs> so much cutlery and fries. I think Tommy probably dropped about three forks on the floor at this point. <laughs> so many forks. Good morning. It is our last full day here. I didn't actually end up vlogging yesterday because I was so unwell. You know, I think it was probably in the last clip I was moaning about being unwell. I literally don't know what's happened. Like I was just so, so sick. I think potentially, and it's happened once before when I was away somewhere, maybe it could be the tap water where I like brush my teeth. It could be that because I was so sick. I'm still feeling you know a bit gross today but yesterday I literally just had like a really bad headache I couldn't really lift my head it was crazy but I am feeling a little bit better today we've had quite a productive start to the day I had well I attempted to have a bit of a healthy breakfast healthy-ish and then Tommy and I went and took loads of juniper pictures like over there on that building and I feel like we did take some good ones. So I'm really, really glad for that. It means that we've probably got about a week, maybe two weeks of content, which is nice because I usually do take the content, you know, probably every other day. So it's nice having a good backlog of it. Um, I'm actually wearing a couple of the pieces now. So this is the Fargo necklace, which I really love. It's one of our snake chains. We offer two different ty like styles of snake chain. I really can't speak today. And then this is the mirror, which is like a little raindrop, which I think is really cute. And I think it's a good holiday piece. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna have another super chilled day. I think maybe, we did think about going around the pool, but I'm not sure if we will today. I don't really know. I feel like we've, we've been by the beach every single day and I feel like it's our last day. Maybe we just stay by the beach, but yeah i'm just gonna try and like i don't know just try and eat healthy and try and like drink lots of water because yeah honestly like i won't go into details but i'm so so ill literally and i have these like rennie things that i bought with me rennies are like these um indigestion kind of tablets and they help with like settling your stomach and even they weren't helping and i was like <laughs> okay right anyway sorry i've gone into way too much detail i'm so sorry if this is the first time you're watching my channel i don't normally speak like this but um yeah anyway i will give you a room tour as well later today because i know i haven't done that i'm just gonna wait for um the uh, ladies to you know do the bed and stuff and make it look gorgeous and then i will show you that because it is a gorgeous room and to be honest that actual hotel is stunning as well i don't think i filmed a huge amount of it so that's what i'm going to do today just kind of show you around show you all the bits and bobs that we've been doing um and yeah just give you a bit of an insight into where we've been staying here's a little tour for you so this building here or like this area this is where we have breakfast it's like the buffet it's tommy and then this is i think there's like i think it's three pools so this is one of the pools this is like the more quiet chilled one it's got this really nice building over here as well which is actually where i've taken like pretty much all of my instagram photos but yeah it's lovely all the buildings are really colorful i think i said that maybe earlier in the vlog oh yeah it's is it that one there i think yeah. it's that one yeah it's our room so we haven't got a bad view i don't think but yeah it's lovely it's really hot today i'm not gonna lie guys like it's honestly probably it feels like it's about 35 degrees it's so hot i think it's only about 30 but it's hot i have a feeling the audio is really bad so i might have to put music on top but this is the beach area with all the sunbeds i'm just trying to like protect the camera from the wind but yeah we're gonna perch ourselves here today. These sunbeds are just very aesthetic. That's one thing I'd say about this hotel. If you wanna take some good pics, then this, this is the hotel for it. Um, so yeah, I might take one in the swimming costume I'm wearing today. Room tour time, obviously a very lived in room tour. So this is the bathroom area. We've got two sinks, all of Tommy's skincare products. I've got mine here. Um, also we've got the bathroom 
and then we have the shower which is really nice actually it's like one of those power showers so we've got that one and then you've got the handheld one for when you obviously don't want to get your hair wet so that's really nice Everything's quite modern. I do think the hotel was renovated like fairly recently. And then we have the bed. Hang on, I think the lighting's gone weird. One sec. Hopefully that's a little bit better. It did this on my phone the other day actually when I was showing my family. Obviously the lighting changes a lot. But yeah, this is the bed, which is nice and big, really comfortable. This like shell design thing I thought was really cool. Just like the whole design of it's cool as well. Like this light up here, you've got space to put our cases. Honestly, like <laughs> just ignore the mess and then we have this area here which is basically just become my dumping ground for accessories and then this mirror which is honestly the best thing i absolutely love it then we've got a little seating area here these gorgeous lights and then this photo in the back and then i won't open the balcony door but this is oh thank you tommy yeah and then this is the balcony we literally have like heat on us all day it's lovely We're also drying all our stuff there and then this is the view the pool's just over there that was the one i showed you earlier so yeah you it's really nice see the beach as well, the... can you oh yeah, i don't know if can. i can see the beach oh yeah kind of hopefully you can see that but yeah it's a really really nice hotel room I like it. I like the kind of like modern style of it. So yeah, very cute. We are just sat on the balcony. We are ready. Well, I'm kind of not ready. I've decided to have a no makeup day or no makeup evening because we are going to the Italian restaurant tonight. Also, if you see flashing behind me, I think that building over there is having some kind of power cut or shortage. The lights have been flashing on and off for ages. Did you just see that? Anyway, um, I'm not going to film the rest of tonight just because it's Tommy's birthday tomorrow and I thought we'd have an evening just for us two to kind of pre-celebrate because we're literally going to be on a flight for his birthday which is kind of depressing. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Leave any questions about the hotel or about anything down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.